here on the Coeur d'Alene River. My name is Mason Kuntz and I work for Castaway Fly Fishing Shop here in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. We are a regional outfitting shop and guide service. We guide in Montana, Washington, and Idaho. And I am an aquatic biologist student from the University of Montana. Here on this rock, this is a aquatic mayfly. He's still in his nymphal stage. He will, he's approximately two years old. He will probably be turning into his adult form this year. Um, you can tell the mayflies by having two cerci, which is their tail filaments, two elongated antennae coming off the front. And this one kind of has a sulfur color to it. And these will probably hatch late July and they are called the sulfur mayfly hatch, size 14. So if we use a pheasant tail and copper john today, we're trying to imitate that guy right there. You got it, yep. Pheasant tails and copper john, size 14, 16s. We'll imitate that guy right there. This guy has external gills, so he is breathing off the water and oxygen that is supplying that algae that he's sitting in right now. This is an aquatic species. It will swim to the surface and form into its adult morph, which is called molting. Numora stonefly, small, black-bodied, usually come out in these early months, March, April. Um, that's why we do fish small nymphs. Uh, fish aren't typically feeding on these on the surface right now, but they are feeding on their younger counterparts that are still down in the bottom of the stream. Numora, and that is a black stonefly. How old is he? Uh, probably like two years. I think they have a two year development for these smaller ones. And they actually but then, live as an adult for that long? Was that no, that's their whole life cycle from when they were an egg okay. until they went in their nymph stage to their adult stage. But if you were to get a larger stonefly, say about this big, which would be a golden stone about this big or a salmon fly this big, it takes four years for the salmon flies to mature to adulthood. Yeah, once again more mayfly species. Um, these are the same species we showed in the last clip. Um, this one might be a different one. He's smaller, darker bodied. There's over a thousand different mayfly species. Um, I'm not an expert by any means. <laughs> I wish I knew them all. But yeah, we got about five different ones crawling around on this rock. Looks like about three different species. Okay, this species of mayfly doesn't have too big antennae like those other species we've showed, and it has one more tail cerci as well, which is the backs of their tails here. You can see much shorter, and if I actually pulled him off this rock and got him dry, there would be three cerci there instead of two in this particular species of mayfly. A little bit more active, a little bit more wormy-like, but he does have those six appendages and the tail cerci just like a mayfly should. Once again, just a different species. A little bit more developed mayfly, a different species. He's a little bit larger. Th that one probably would go for like a size 14 Adams or one of your more standard gray body mayflies. Fairly large size mayfly, adult, uh, brownish body. That's kind of like a March Brown, but not as big. 
Uh, we are fishing some olive patterns in a 14, various mayflies, and seem to be sticking some fish on dry flies. April 1st, here we are, Coeur d'Alene River. So once again, here we go, another Numora stone fly. You can see the wing patterning is much different here. They have four wings and they lay over the back of the actual insect versus the mayfly where his wings were directly upright and only had two sets of wings. But this is a larger Numora stone fly once again. I don't know if you can see the red under his wings. I can get that exposed, but that's a nice indicator for a black body Numora stonefly. Pretty easy to find, small, size 10 to 14, black body, red spot. Here we have two different species. This is our golden stone. And they typically, you can tell he's golden by the yellowish patterning on the underside of his body. And this is an adult. You can see he's creeping and crawling. He's got a full set of wings laid over the back there. Typically, the big hatch for those flies starts in post runoff, which is mid to late May, depending on the year, and goes through late June. That's when we get a really prolific hatch here on the Coeur d'Alene River. But it's amazing to see this one in full form in his adult form on April 1st. Real shocker to me, but great signs for a, over again. a good upcoming season. One more time on the underside of the insect there. You can see that golden patterning to him. And then on my pointer finger here, another one of those mayflies I showed you earlier. Uh, like a light Cahill would work for that, real light body, real light wing patterning. But this is a dead mayfly. We watched this hatch start a few hours ago. Bugs flew, uh, some of them mated, and here we are already seeing some of the spent insects back here next to the bank. So that life cycle for that fly is over.